Hand on the game, we are not playing the same No, we not looking to change, hand on the road They think we lacking the drive, boy, you should stay in your lane Foot on the gas, I do not care if I crash Long as I stick to the plan, what is the plan? I cannot lie for none of you, long as I know who I am I'm in control, God got his hand on my soul And if I land and he got the remote Made it as far as a miracle, miracle Um, well Not even if I introduce myself, you know, but <laughs> I am Matthew, everybody call me Louis Last name Louis, so you know some people call me Matthew, some call me Lewis. And you know, I'm the owner of 876 Unit Mods. Alright, so 876 Unit Mods. First, tell us a little bit about what that exactly is. Alright, so 876 Unit Mods is a brand. Um, it mainly consists of modifying headlights. That's where I started, but I realized that you have other lighting aspects to the whole car thing, you know. So I said, I mean, you need mods, so it can be anything pertaining to lighting, I mean, other customization of the cars. So, yeah, man, that's the 876 unit mods. And, uh, you know, it's one day me and my brother was there, and we started this from 2020 actually, when COVID just kicked in, you know. And I was there home, and I see my car, and I just feel I say, I can add something to it. So, I just start with the lighting. And then from there, people say, yo, brother, you can't do that to my own. And I say, you can try. You know, burn up a couple of headlights, but you know, we have to start from somewhere. So, yeah, that's how it starts. Then, you know, my brother jump in and big up to Timothy. Timmy Designs, you can check him on Instagram. He's the one who designed my logo. And, you know, he come up with three designs and I say, nah, man, I don't feel them there. Then, man say, all right, I'll bring up, he come up with one more. And so, when he said, I said, brother, I eat that. And we get the 876 unit mods. So, it's a unique mod brand. I mean, car has so many aspects, like a different different areas of cars that you can actually yeah. jump into. Why did you choose headlights and lighting as a whole? I mean, I actually saw this guy on YouTube named Flyride, Chris from Flyride, yeah. And I was so interested in the lightings that he portrayed. You know, he talked about NeoPixel and I was like, RGB and you know, oh the whole lighting thing go and how it work. Some of them wasn't for cars or for like home, but him show mostly for cars and I was like, no man, that look easy. I knew a little bit of soldering. Not really a little bit, but you know, you know what I mean. So I knew a little bit of that and that. So I just put everything to one and you know, I just start something, do it with my car first, and see say it work, and then you know, branch off and start doing it with other people's car. Alright, so it sounds like you basically self-taught yourself by what you saw and was intrigued about it. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about how it started out for you. Like you said, you burned a few lights as well. You started with your own car. <laughs> tell us in the beginning when you kicked this whole thing off, how was it for you? Did you get discouraged at any point and wanted to stop or with the mishaps it kind of helped you to kind of want to go, go more into it? Alright, so I must give you a joke. So, you know, Everybody might have an idea of how headlights might be pulled, but not everybody will be able to pull it as perfect. I think I've mastered that, but anyways, um, I started by using a blow dryer, you know, you just use the blow dryer and you try. And I mean, it, it took me hours, about probably three hours to pull one headlight and it, it got damaged. And uh, I saw them on, them on YouTube doing it, but them do it flawless. I was like, what may I do wrong? Anyways, um, we eventually grew up and we know if we do it the right way. And I mean, yeah, the first the first headlight I used, um, the heat box for the headlights, I mean, the headlight came out wobbling. You know, th um, thanks to Team Image, they had a headlight um, put on at the garage. And I said, yo, bro, we need some help. And he said, yeah, man, forward. Yeah, man, big up to Dre. You see me? And him say yo forward for the headlight and I so comes I could fix up back the first the headlight, you know? I mean at one point I say I gotta stop because it's a tricky process. You can mash up people headlight and then know it might cost you. Because when you damage something, it gonna cost you. And if you don't have the part, particular part to replace for a headlight, why it's a bit rough on you. So yeah, you have to you have to know where you do and I mean it, it, it has its ups and downs because I mean sometimes it's very hard. You get some difficult L dye to work with, you know, especially those that use perma seal. You know, it's very hard to pull. So you have to know where you do. And I think I've mastered it all. So with the ups and downs of you know the whole 
headline game, you know, the difficulty and, and at some point feeling discouraged. Um, what kept you from doing that and still going on to do it to the point where you could say you master some of these crap? Well, I would say from a very tender age, I used to pull up little cars and fix them up and I always want to know how this work. So it's like, even though you read some point where you want, you want to say, yo, put on this. Let me tell you, I've grown, I, I, I've developed a love for cars that I just want to know more and more. You know, I want, I, even, I'm thinking about going to school to study about some of these German cars, you know, study electrical side of them and things. But, you know, in due time, that will happen. You see me? Alright, so it sounds like you have a love for electrical and anything that's with wiring and stuff. Yeah. Is yeah. that something that runs in your family or you just develop that just from a <laughs> that age? You know, that's a good question. My father is an um, electrician for NWC and growing up, you know, I see him with him wires them and do him things. So I guess that's where I get it from and him always, you know, him will show me one and two things. He never show me everything, you know. Cause him always say, yo, go to school. I want to go to school and learn it the real way, but you know, like how he did. But um, I saw him and I usually fool around with a couple of things when I see him though. So it was like uh, watching him and trying for myself. And then I, did, I went to heart and I did um, uh, house installation, yeah, where we, we wire up house and things. So I mean, I apply that same principle to cars because it's the same negative and positive. But you have to know it's just 12 volts. It's not um, 220 or 110 volts we're dealing with. Uh, you know, it's like a 12, 12 volt we're dealing with. So, you know, it, 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 it's the same principle in some aspects. And, you know, we just carry up the same work and it works. All right, so um, I know the headlights they look real nice. I mean, there are a lot of unique headlights. I mean, that, that game has been properly evolved now, especially at Crash Wheel. There's a lot of headlights and stuff. Being a headlight customizer yourself, what would you say would be the most rewarding feeling um, about you just customizing headlights? Um, the best feeling getting after done in a headlight is like when the customer be like, whoa, yo, this look good, you know? I, I love to see that expression, you know? Our man say, yo, brother, you're not normal. You see what I say? I like, I like, I like hear that. So I know the customer is pleased. But even me with myself, is <laughs> me feel excited more than them, you know, because sometimes you're doing a headlight, based on the dynamics of the headlight, it causes you to be creative. You have to come out of that little box there, you get me? It's not going to be just source of projectors, you know, sometimes it can be a, 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 a buy LED or something else that's different from just being just a projector, you know? So, I mean, it's creativity that really bring off these um these headlights and you have to be different right so tell us um what what has been or if you can remember the most challenging headlight request you've ever got hmm i don't think i get anything that is challenging as yet i mean i'm kind of working on my personal um headlights and you know, it's not that challenging, but I don't think I've woke up on any headlight that is that hard. I mean, I figure I can do everything. Yeah. All right, since you start this whole movement, the whole customizing game, how has been the feedback that you've been receiving, the customer retention, how has that been for you? Well, I want to big up all of my fans then. <laughs> From the start, my friends them, my family them, you know, everybody me have a big one up because I them really push me, you know, you know, and one of one of my friends them, Gio, him, him was the first, what would I say? Him actually the first client where anything me say, him do. Even though him know me just a start, he brother say anything me want to do, him go get it. And that's what he did. And I think him got through about two care now and and me always customize the like them and when he want a new design he always come to me you know and we always work together and see what's best but you know people always say them like the work they want to do some work and really respect that and think you know say the word i get out there and people will link me up you know all right so all right so with, with this whole game um you know 
of course you know the headlight game can go get to a le many different levels how do you see this part for you growing and what do you hope to achieve from this whole headlight customization business um well i don't want it to be just headlight customization if you remember pimp my ride them 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 back days pimp my ride style we want you just drive in drive out with a different look you know so even with your headlight it would be just headlights only we want to focus we want you get get some under glows we want you get you know a bar or something nice you know your fog light install upgrade you know and just change up the whole look so i'm really focusing on headlights right now but in the future i would love to do a full have a team where you know you would have me here at the headlight station lighting station you know you have a mechanic you have a tinter you have somebody else at another station you know so in the future that may work towards and with the whole um you know the whole change in the headlight game and everything and the jamaican car scene how do you feel it has been you know reciprocated by patrons and persons who are wanting to be a part of the car game uh I would say a lot of people are seeing um, the new styles, especially the new headlights. They are coming with projectors, and uh, there are some of them are coming with LED projectors. And you know, a man might have him all car and say, "Hey, I want to look new." So you know, they will come to us and other people out there that are doing um, headlight modifications, and they will link them and say, "Hey, more my car look new." So I mean, enough people are seeing the game right now where we are changing. We are trying to make people see on the road, right? Because some people out there have some real bright lights still. But the aim is to really have control of your lights on the road and things. So, you know, people are wise up. People are come to it and change out. Because the whole allergen aspect, I mean, that's, that's a back then days. So we try to change up the game man and make it look more modern. Alright, so if if it's a case where someone emulates a newer version headlight for a car which is just a little bit a while ago, and let's just say they have a older shaker and it wants those headlight look, is it possible to replicate that look in some way? Are the parts that are really available to create a modern headlight look whilst having an older shape like that it's only work for some vehicles and some it's not possible all right i'm glad you you said that because some headlights it's based on the dynamics of the headlight now you have some headlight that can accommodate a, a projector while you have some that don't because the headlight is too thin you know and the the, the, the lighting output that you don't want you won't get it from the small projectors so i mean it all depends on the dynamics of the projector to really do a certain modification because it's not every headlight can take a tube strip for say you know a tube strip is very flat and you know whilst you have some will while the same headlight will take a jewel strip or a flat strip you know so it all just depends on your headlight and i mean i'll know which one is best or sometimes i like when clients come with their ideas and we we'll work on it and then we we'll make it happen because a client will come and say hey more stripping on my headlight and I'll be like all right tube strip can work while you have some them know what them really want them have a vision you know so yeah in terms of the whole process of getting the headlights done getting everything fitted and customized somebody watching this video now saying wow I would like to get my headlights done how do I get in contact with 876 Unique Mods? Well, um, you can link us on the Instagram 876 Unique Mods or WhatsApp us at 402-8251. Yeah, man. And another question I want to have is very important. Um, first, if somebody wants to customize the headlights, what is the turnaround time for like, you know, a basic mod that would have it into a two chip projector headlights and all of that? All right, um, the turnaround time for that, it depends <laughs> it, it depends on the headlight and because as i said you have some that really take a while for open you have some easy to open but um turnaround time 
like four hours, you know, to a day, you know, just link us, DMS, and uh, book an appointment, and then now uh, the rest will go from there. Brilliant. All right, so at this time, is there anyone that you'd like to thank at this time for the journey so far? Anybody want to big up? All right, so we have to big up God first and foremost, as I mean, say, big up my wife, big up my parents, my family, everybody, you know, my friends, them from civic society, um, big up street effects, yeah, man, from day one, my link him and him have a couple parts, and from that, he's been one of my suppliers, them, my main supplier, you know, um, big up KNS Auto, big up, um, DPR accessories, yeah man, um, team image, Note Nation, Fit Nation, uh, Axio League, Razor, Pink Boss, you know, yeah man, all of the man them from the uh, sentence side will always come link me and get some work done. Um, my friend them, my Spain friend them, yeah man, big up on yourself. And yeah man, everybody else, you know, on yourself. Um, one big up. All of the crack crew them, you know. Um, yo, big up K for coming today, you see me? And TWS for coming today, you know. Big up on yourself, you know, to bring the pro box today and do a little magic to it and make it work, you see me? And I hope the, the owner like it, you see me? So big up on yourself, can't wait to see the video, but you don't know, big up on yourself. Oh, big up Goose Garage too. Never come down here yet, but probably one day I come down there for gonna deal with some pan Aquila. And another thing, you can check out the page Aquila FG2 on Instagram. So Aquila is a 2007 SI Civic Coupe. Yeah, um, it have a K24 engine in it. Basic setup, bone stock, you know, people say me always I go fast, but you know, Aquila is just a basic car. Love the standard and thing. Um, we have things coming for it soon, so stay tuned, you know, I'll tell tell them everything. But check out the, the, the Instagram page, Aquila FG2 on Instagram, and you see the movement and the progress.